GST goods and service tax now before understanding what is GST let us understand what is a supply chain now a manufacturer manufactures a product and it sells it to the wholesaler a wholesaler is someone who buys the product from the manufacturer in huge quantities now once wholesaler has stocked his items he can sell it to the retailers or the shopkeepers the retailers are the ones who buys product from the reseller in small quantities now the reseller or the shopkeeper sells the product to the end customers so once you understand this supply chain let us understand how is priced at different stages if the manufacturer can decide the price of the product depending upon his cost so if it decides the product is to be of rupees 150 and depending upon the for the type of the product the gst is decided so if the gst on this particular product is 5% that comes out to be 7.5 the final price of the product will be 157.5 the wholesaler purchases the product for 157.5 rupees now once he have purchased the product he can decide his own selling price so he decides the selling price to be 180 again the 5% gst is to be added and the gst comes out to be 9 rupees so the final selling price for the wholesaler will become 189 rupees now the retailer purchases the product at 189 rupees and he marks his price to be 220 rupees for the consumer again the 5% gst is added and the gst comes out to be 11 rupees so the final selling price comes out to be 2 31 So once the manufacturer sells the product to the wholesaler he collects a GST of 7.5 rupees per product so that 7.5 goes to the government This is also termed as input tax of the wholesaler that is the tax when he brings in the product Similarly when the wholesaler sells the product to the retailer the output tax is 9 rupees the wholesaler has already paid 7.5 rupees to the government he doesn't need to pay all 9 rupees to the government again he needs to pay just 1.5 rupees that is called as gst payable government receives 7.5 plus 1.5 that is 9 rupees as gst similarly when the retailer purchases from the wholesaler he has paid a tax of 9 rupees so that is the input tax of the retailer when he sells the product to the consumer the output tax is 11 so the gst payable is 2 rupees so this 2 rupees again goes to the government this is how the gst is paid at each stage of the supply chain now gst is collected by the government but there are two governments that is the central government and the state government so the gst paid at each stage is divided into equal to halves by both the governments For example, if the GST collected is 7.5, so the half of 7.5 comes out to be 3.75. So each government gets 3.75 rupees. Again, the GST payable of the wholesaler that is 1.5 rupees is divided into two parts that is 0.75 each. And finally, the GST payable of the retailer that is 2 rupees is divided into two halves. Hence, the total income tax the total gst of 11 rupees is divided into exactly two halves that is 5.5 for the central government and 5.5 to the state government this is how the gst of the supply chain is calculated